Right, here we are, back on our global combo map on EPS2, and we are attempting, or about to attempt, uh, at least that's the plan, we're attempting to do my longest trip ever on Eurotruck. Uh, it's not the longest trip that you can do possibly on this uh, global map combo, but it's a job that has come up, and... Uh, in total, it's about ten and a half thousand miles. It's uh, about just under seventeen thousand kilometers in length. And the unique thing about it is, there is no ferries going to be used on this trip. It's all going to be road or off road. And let's have a look at the map. Now we are in almost the extreme eastern part of this global map combo this is actually in china up here uh, we have done a job that took us right up into that area of china and the next job that came up was from this place here uh, now what the hell was it called again it is uh, Dush dushanbe i think that's in tajikistan Maybe that's what TJ stands for. It's one of the Stan countries anyway. And uh, it's actually just empty pallets that we're taking. We've got our own trailer. Um, and uh, we're going from Tajikistan all the way over to Ibagi, Ib Ibagwe. I think that's what it's called. Uh, in Colombia. And uh, we'll have a look at the world map and see how the proposed route is going to be uh, so we'll leave Dushanbe and we're then obviously going to have to head east and north through into the Great Steppe part of the map which is uh, Kazakhstan part of ProMods and then we keep heading east and then north till eventually we get to Moscow and then from there, it's a fairly straightforward route right across Poland and right through Germany on the autobahns all the way. And we'll eventually arrive in France. We're not heading to the channel port of Calais. We're not going that way. We're then going to head south through France. We're going to keep going until eventually we get to the border between France and Spain and we continue on right into Spain down to the south of Spain cross the border into Portugal and then another one of the mods on this map combo it's the Ponte Amazade or something like that bridge which is obviously a fictional bridge that takes you from Portugal into Brazil and of course Brazil is part of the EAA map combo, a huge South America map, ginormous it is. And we've got to go right across Brazil, possibly into Argentina, and then among other countries like Chile, and uh, eventually heading east and north. Now, when I said earlier there that we're going to be using everything but ferries were going to be roads all the way well at this point here the route wants to take us on a ferry north but on the this map there is a hidden road there is a hidden off-road section that you can bypass the ferry it's quite a long trip um, but we can do that all we need to do is, is when we eventually get here we have to look around for that hidden road and that will take us north, avoiding the ferry. We're now heading into Venezuela, right up at the northern part of South America, all the way across the top, around and down into Colombia, till eventually we get to there, and that is our end goal on this proposed trip. So 10,500 odd miles, I think it's actually saying 11,000 miles up there. I don't know where it got that from, uh, but I think it's 10,000 miles by road. I think that's possibly what it means. But in total, 
it's 11,000 miles. Well, it will be 11,000 odd miles by road because we aren't going to be taking that ferry. My intention is is to uh, do this on my day off. So today, as I make this little video, today's date is the 25th of July 2023. I'm intended to do it my day off on Wednesday the 26th of July. Now this truck that I have is a MAN TGX truck. It's been modified in a couple of ways. Um, we've got off-road tyres on it which come from the Zill uh, Russian uh, off-road truck. We've got them fitted. They work pretty well with this truck. And we've also got a modified fuel tank. Now, this truck would normally have like a 200 and I think it's roughly about a 270 odd I can't remember it's round about that 270 odd gallons uh, capacity however uh, this fuel tank has been modded to three times the capacity and I'm pretty certain let me go to the truck manager where the hell is that uh, blah 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 there it is it's been modified to three times the capacity and as you can see there uh, just at the bottom of the list of the truck info it says 824 gallons so that means that we can we have a range roughly about seven and a half thousand miles that we can go without actually having to fuel up it just also means that uh, if we're on a particularly long section where uh, fuel isn't as readily available, particularly on that off-road section in Brazil, then we don't need to worry about it. As long as we've got enough fuel on board, we'll, we'll manage no problem. We've got a 680 horsepower engine, which is going to be good enough for the job. And, uh, well, I don't think I'll do it all in one sitting without having a break. I'm going to have to have... Uh, maybe a snack and maybe a bathroom break occasionally but the intention is is to do all of this so uh, I hope you can join <laughs> I hope you've got the patience to at least drop in and keep me company uh, on some of this trip so uh, it's going to be tortuous it won't be accident free because you know what I'm like in this game there is very I mean I don't think I've ever driven anywhere in this game uh, on any of these maps where I haven't had some sort of disaster um, but uh, it shouldn't be that much of a problem looking at this because I've, I've done these this route I've done these roads here and it should be fine but wish me luck and uh, I'll see you soon